Cooper, Product Specialist for Medical Solutions here at ISA UK. In today's video, I'm going to show you what to expect when unboxing your Radiforce RX 1270. The packaging comes in two parts. To remove the top layer, remove the fastening clips found in each corner, and then the top will slide off. Once all four clips have been removed, slide the top layer off. Remove the polystyrene, which also contains the included cables. Lift the monitor up slightly to enable you to place both hands underneath and then remove ensuring no pressure is applied to the LCD panel itself. Remove the protective bag, including the base stand cover. Then remove the integrated front sensor seal located at the top of the monitor. Detach the comfort reading light from the rear cabinet and position it to your preference. The cables supplied in the box include one UK mains power cord, two DisplayPort to DisplayPort cables, one HDMI to HDMI cable, and two USB A to B cables. The RX 1270's base stand allows for height, swivel, and tilt adjustments. Despite its maximum movement possibilities, the flex stand base always remains completely stable. The ports that can be found on the monitors are as such. Two USB upstream ports used to control the monitor via ISO's Radix software, two DisplayPort video signal inputs, one HDMI video signal input, and finally one power connector with rocker switch. Connecting your RX 1270 to your workstation. Firstly, connect the mains power cord and ensure the rocker switch is in its on position. Now connect your video signal cable. If your graphics card supports DisplayPort 1.4, then only one DisplayPort cable is required. If, however, your graphics card is DisplayPort 1.2, then two DisplayPort cables will be needed. Last but not least, connect the Type B end of the USB cable into the monitor's USB upstream port 1 and then the type A end of the cable into your workstation. If you're utilizing the monitor's KVM switch, then a second USB cable will be required. And with everything in place, go ahead, turn the front power button on, and you should finally see your image.